O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are that way because that is what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe is your creation. I like that one. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 134, NASDAQ up 33, S&P's up 850. Gold, gold contract trading down $3.30 at 19.47 an ounce. We have silver up 7 cents, $22.80 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 37. $83, 4 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down 17 ticks, trading out at 110.27. The 30-year down a full point, plus 4 ticks at 121.20. And King Dollar, King Dollar's the mover out here, folks. That's the bottom line. King Dollar right now, rejected lower price. King Dollar is trading at a price point up 35 ticks at 102.526. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you talk about some price spread out here today, man. It was pretty intense. You know, the SPY, we got up to 451. And 451, the last, that high volume when we came down was 452.89. And it couldn't even make it, which is pretty weird. Uh, bottom line is that you still got a small ABC structure on the way down. That's how this is set up. You know, bottom line, it gave it up. It gave it up in spades. We'll see how this shakes out coming into the close. But as I said in the update, I suspect coming into the close, we're going to go right after this low. It's, it's dicey. It's a dicey one. It's not, we don't have a real high volume low here. Let me show you this. You know, normally, if he, um, that, that's, uh, it's not a real conviction play here, but you still do that the volume is still there, you know, nothing big. But the bottom line is that, you know, we, we stair-stepped all the way down all day long. We go into the end, end queues. Well, first we go to the queues. We take a look at the queues, what you have with the queues. The queues got to a price point out here of uh, 370, no, 374, 374.36. You're at 369. Now, what, what's, what is intriguing here, there's no doubt. Now, you're going into the volume of 61 million. Well, we've already done 61 million. So that was actually pushing up with volume, and it gave it up on price. So that's kind of dicey, because when you do that, you can go right back up, you know, right to that level. That's how this shakes out. And what has happened with the Qs, the Qs are coming into that $100 million, I mean, $100 million share price, but that is at 372. So now what you can see is that you're not holding price inside the NDX 100, which is a problem. We go to the NQs. We take a look at the NQs out here. What you have with the NQs right now, there we go. So we take a look at the NQs, put these, pull these back. You talk about a price spread in the NQs. We went from 15,442 to 15,136. And yeah, the same setup, man. You're coming into volume here. Your probability is they're gonna, they'll, they'll run it down. Because you can see what's happening now. The last two bars, we had 10,000 contracts and 8,000. And that's going into 15,000 and 20,000. Yeah, check this out. I'm going to go back to the S&Ps for a second. Yeah, I see what's happening here. Let me go back. See, these two bars, that's what you're going into. And yeah, you got price going, you know, the last 30 minutes. But those two 10-minute bars, that's uh, 10,000 and 8. 8's the second one. So you got a contraction there. And you're going into 15 and 20. That's saying we're going down. Go to the ES. Let me do this. It's going to be the same setup, but I just want to see specifically this number. Okay, so pull this out. Okay, so 
There it is right there. Okay, so let's put this right here. That's what you're going into. Okay, so we did, last bar was 26,000. Bar before that was 34. That's going into 43 and 53. Yeah, this thing, this thing doesn't have it. Doesn't, it doesn't have, well, it doesn't have it to make it through it. That's what's going on. So can't bust them up. Guess what? You'll bust them down coming into the close. We go over and take a look. Let's go take a look at the note and bond market because the 10-year, this is what's going to be interesting about the 10-year right now is that we had a couple days up. I want to tell this is uh, backing down. Whoa, we backed down already. Right. <laughs> Holy cow. It backed down all right. Look at this thing. Okay, so the 10-year gave it up in spades. You get 1.6 million contracts. Yeah, that's saying that we're going to go back and test the lows again. And that lows we're talking about is 109.24. And then if we go to the gold contract, we take a look at gold. And we have out here with the gold contract, that got down to 1945. Your swing is 1939. This is getting dicey, man, particularly going into a Friday. This is dangerous, man. We're going to have our man Tim Ward on today, too, but this is dicey because that's telling me that this actually wants to go down probably to this, could even be 1904. See, if you break, if you break that uh, 54, no, not 54, 39, and on a Friday we could do that in a second, and particularly how the dollar is set up, the dollar is set up that it wants to go higher. So... This goes down here on a Friday. You're going to go against the strength of how we came off the bottom in February. That's how that baby's set up right now. So there is certainly a huge amount of action. If we go over to the VIX, I'm sure that we get an elevated VIX now. There's no two ways about that. Oh, look, at it's even down. That's even crazier. That's, that's even, you know what? That's even more bizarre. The reason being, folks, is that that's saying there's no fear. And if there's no fear when the market has just gone down, you know, 55 points, 55 S&P points, that is saying quite a bit, meaning that's when markets can go south. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, down 142. We get the NASDAQ off 44, S&P's off 11 and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Tim Wood.